Engineer Glenn Dash has built a solar gnomon, a vertical rod that acts like a giant shaft on a sundial. He wants to test how the ancient Egyptians might have used the sun's shadow to accurately align the bases or casings of the pyramids. The solar gnomon method is basically the same method that we teach the Boys and Girl Scouts. It's as simple as could be. You take a rod and you stick it into the ground and you watch the shadow produced by the sun over the course of the day. The sun's shadow is projected from the gnomon, or vertical rod, onto a small wooden block resting on a platform. The experiment is performed near the summer solstice when the sun achieves its maximum elevation angle and therefore casts a sharp shadow. We watch the shadow every minute or so. We center the shadow in the crosshairs that's on the angled block, and uh, we mark it on the paper. Once it's projected from the block, at that particular moment, we get a line across the paper that's called a declination line, and that's the pattern that the sun makes as it moves across the sky over the course of the day. Here we go, let's see how we did. At the end of the day, you take a piece of string, you draw a circle around the rod, and that circle is going to intercept the declination line at two points. Those two points lie exactly east-west, so you can draw an east-west line. Perpendicular to that is north-south. The experiment works. Dash is able to find true north within 1 20th of a degree using this primitive solar method. I think other people will come to the conclusion fairly quickly that the sun played a major role in pyramid alignments and may have been the method of choice for aligning the casings of the pyramids.